We were at Oracle Arena. We had lost game one, and from a true basketball junkie, basketball nut, growing up and having watched all the superstar tapes and being with my dad in the driveway and and just being around the team and having the feeling and seeing the brotherhood and, and, and the family was, was something that I, I really, really wanted to be a part of. So I had mentioned I, I never wanted to be in a game more than that. But as you know, things played out, game six, you know, we ended up losing. You know, I'm kind of standing up, everybody's going off the floor, and I'm looking down at the Golden State Warriors thinking, okay, okay, I know this feeling. I know I want to be back here. In my exit meetings, I had spoken with David Blatt, our head coach, and our general manager, David Griffin, and it was, uh, you know, for lack of a better term, a heart-to-heart, -heart, but I just kind of spilled out how I felt, how I felt I could help, what I could do better, um, and so on and so forth. And then I had mentioned to them during the meeting that I was going to reach out to LeBron, and I did. He happened to be in Los Angeles uh, the same time I was. So we just, you know, talked everything out and, and a lot of stuff was, was very honest and we, you know, came to a, to a really good place and we agreed on, on a lot of things. So I think that was also a very big deal when you're talking to, you know, the best player in the world. So um, a few days later, 1201, free agency, July 1st. Um, you know, I get a call from general manager David Griffin and you know, kind of the, the rest is history from there. Truthfully, I expressed this to LeBron and he had been through it a couple times now. I can actually go wherever I want and you know, pick the team I want to play for. But every time I went through the different scenarios, I, I always came out at the same place. And that was to be in Cleveland and try to win championships. And, you know, I would be able to you know, really help this team win and, you know, going forward, make a very big impact on this team and, and on, this, on the city trying to, try to bring home a championship or a championship. So it's, uh, I'm not going to say it didn't weigh heavily on me because it did. Uh, you know, I'm 26 and it's, it's, you know, the biggest decision of my life to this point. But <laughs> uh, I just felt Cleveland was and Cleveland has been at the end of the day, always came out the same place, been the right place. Their fans are just so great. They're, they're diehard. They're, as we like to say, they're all in. So they love their athletes. They, they love their Cavaliers. And it's, it's, it's a sports town. I always say, you know, chase what you love and everything you love will chase you right back. That's happiness. So now I just get to focus on the game that I grew up watching. You know, I sat there and watched the finals. I grew up watching the superstar tapes. You know, get my ass beat by my dad in the driveway, in the front yard, backyard, it didn't matter. He was, you know, someone that, you know, I looked up to and that was also a conversation I'd have with my parents. I said, what do you think? And they said, we just want you to be happy. And that struck home to me because if I can just focus on basketball, that's what I grew up loving. That was my first love. Truthfully, it hasn't set in yet. It's like, I'm sitting here now thinking, of course, this is this is a great opportunity. It's going to be it's going to be awesome. But at the same time, like I don't know, maybe it's in a in a, in a couple weeks or. But the truth is, after we lost, there was like a sense of unfinished business. So that's kind of where everything is left at. You don't know what the future holds. You you really don't. But knowing where the decision has taken me and also, uh, you know, they afforded me the opportunity to just go and play basketball. That's what I'm looking forward to the most. I mean, I love the game.